Stranger Danger. A lot of people wanted to see Lin Fei. So I'll pull out the Lin Fei. Two attack Lin Fei specifically, so that's the, the defense stance. Let's see which color I use. I'll pull out the Heat Wave. Why not? A little bit of new colors. I was not planning on recording anything today. I just hopped on, did my daily missions. I got pretty much no sleep, so I'm very exhausted right now. But, I don't know. After my daily missions were over, I was like, eh, I guess I'll record maybe one or two. Gonna be working on a slightly new schedule. I think I might be putting, oh, my bad. Putting out Stranger Dangers more often. Maybe two times a week instead of one? I don't know. It's up to y'all. Let me know what you think about that one. Gonna be rocking out on the Fae. One of my worst characters, but it's all good. She's got Guitars, so can't go wrong in this this patch, Guitars. As you can see, can't go wrong. But the real thing that's strange to me is the cannon. I am not experienced on cannon. It might be my worst weapon. <laughs> if it's not apparent by that. <laughs> but it has some really crazy moves. Some great normals, you know. I think cannon is it was very underrated and now I think it's a little bit overrated only because uh like we see Sandstorm play it and he's like the like he's obviously the best player right now. Uh or at least top two, like very obviously top two. Him and Boomy. Uh and of course we see like oh, him play it and so we see the, the peak of the weapon and like people are calling it like top two or without Katar's top one you know stuff like that and I don't agree with that I think it's very very strong it has a lot of potential especially with offstage gameplay like it can carry you super hard some of its strings are actually insane and its hitboxes are pretty dumb uh, sirens in the background as always you know no surprise there but it's also punishable like the moves have crazy insane hitboxes that you have to space around on like especially downlight and sidelight but like both of those moves are punishable at least a little, like if you're positioned pretty well so that's the, the kind of trade-off of it on the other hand I don't know it's kind of dumb ground pound is actually insane oh I was kind of baiting that out all game that was the only time I did it a little bit distracted, not gonna lie. Somehow got him into one stock orange. So that's a win, I guess. Committed a little hard on the recovery there. I, tr I was trying to bait out a dodge. I thought he would dodge the satellite NC this time, but did not. Two strength maybe coming into play here, baiting out the dodge. There it is. Nothing left. Be the game. All right, game one complete. Played a bit of guitars on the first stop. Bit of cannon on the second and third, and then close it off with some guitars again. But yeah, I I, I think cannon is very strong. Its strength potential is crazy. Its offstage game is actually insane. But the ground moves are punishable. So there's that at the very least. Neutral Eight. If you watch my five underrated moves, you already know how much I praise Neutral Eight. Is the music on? It is. I just couldn't hear it. Um, and then downline hitboxing is really crazy. So there's that. All right, game number two up against a Sentinel. Maybe be playing some Guitar Dittos or into this Hammer matchup. I do think Hammer could actually do fairly well against Guitars because it can space out with Sidelight and then. Uh, sidelight can hit the guitar sidelight, it can out prioritize it if you get it out in time. And then on top of that, there's that recovery off stage to contest the nair. Wow, I got hit by that twice. A little bit slow reactions, you know, again. I'm a bit exhausted, so I have that excuse, but also it can hit the downlight. Like, because hammer sidelight hits aerial, it can contest the guitar downlight. So there's that. Ouchies. Anyways, not sure why you'd go for that, but interesting option in neutral to say the least. <laughs> Perhaps reading an in dodge, I don't know. 
That's what I did anyway. No more side sigs. I'm not getting hit by any more side sigs. That's a promise. Probably one I can't keep, but it's a promise. That I will want to keep. If I want to stay in this game, you know? This map is very weird. I honestly think it's probably the worst, maybe, worst guitar map. Because you do lose out on strings because of the, the middle platform. Wow, I actually fell into it. But, at the same time, no longer tournament legal, so. Whoopee. Oh, I had a, a downlight combo there, but he fell into the middle platform. Again, this stage has a hole in it. I was not a fan of it competitively, and neither was most of the competitive community, which is why it's no longer in tournaments, so bless up for that. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Again, it has a hole in it. Now I have to avoid Hammer's main kill options. Thought he would jump there. Ooh, maybe should have neutralized. I honestly don't even know. I don't know what I was doing there either. But it's okay. It's a hot New York summer. I can't use the fans while recording because they get into the audio or into my mic. I don't have AC, so I have to use fans. It's a whole deal. And that's a whole stock. Taking it away. There's another pretty clean game. You know, maybe Lin Fei. Maybe Lin Fei's the pick. Maybe I'll pull this one out in bracket. You know? I think up next in Stranger Danger, I'll be doing 9 Defense Barraza. I saw two, uh, two comments for that. It was by the same person. <laughs> so I'm guessing they really wanted it. I was thinking of doing it anyway. So that'll be up next after this. Pick the Lin Fei again, because a lot of people requested it. And it is something I'm unfamiliar with. And, uh... Yeah, I, I, I don't know what will be the third one after that. I'm guessing I'm recording three in one session because that's usually what I do. If not, it's because I collapsed from exhaustion. I don't know if you could hear that. That was my stomach. I'm very hungry too. I'll make myself something to eat after this. Or after that, I record all three. I whiffed. I whiffed. So we had a Qatar ditto. Now we got a cannon ditto. Oh, he dashed out of that. That was smart. I should have done that. There's the new axe down here. Axe! Got a couple changes. I would say they're buffs. Especially that one. Uh, I think axe needed it, personally. If you th really think about it, it's kind of a nerf in 2v2. Because, dare. Uh, you can't just like gimp super early with dare, but at the same time, oh I knew that was coming. Ground pound is not crazy, so. Oh wow, I do not know the spacing on that. Apparently on that either. Apparently I don't know the strings either, which I don't. Let me pick up these. Dash and sig. Is it coming? I was expecting it. There's the downlight near to close it out. Very good on Zul because of his high strength, but it does kill a lot later on the Fae. I'll be looking for more N sigs. Oh my. I thought I was dead. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Cannon ditto not looking too good. That I didn't think that would hit me. <gasps> Another downlight nair. Not looking too good. I would probably be better unarmed than in the cannon ditto, if I'm gonna be honest. That'll do it. Cannon Sarah, I think, might be the highest forest light attack in the game. I could be wrong there. I know it has more than uh, Hammer Sarah, I think. 
he didn't immediately jump to the right. Thought he would. Seems like he likes to spot dodge a whole lot. I thought that would hit. I thought the explosion there would kill, but it looks like the dare hitbox, for some reason, still hit that dodge. Okay. I felt like I <laughs> kind of cheesed that one, but that's okay. Alright, hopping into the last one here. Somehow. I made it through two Stranger Danger Dittos. Alive. The weak fae. Maybe, uh, maybe an answer. Maybe not though. <laughs> Definitely not though. <laughs> Alright, Q. My dog is barking. Here's someone outside. <sighs> if there isn't a way to end the video, it's kind of perfect if you think about it. Game 1, I fight. The, uh, the main that I'm known for, the Hattori. I have to overcome myself. Game 2, I have to overcome the Katars. With the Katars. Game 3, the hammer. With... Or <laughs> the the cannon with the cannon and game four, the gawk. This is the this is the most intense Stranger Danger lineup you could get. Think about it. That move has a lot of active frames and not a lot of recovery frames. There we go. Axe recovery. It moves before the hitbox comes out, so that's why Gauntlet. Uh, Gauntlet Nair is so good against it, because you can catch them moving upward before the hitbox comes out. Uh, and that's, that's how I got the kill there. Gawk looking a little weak on the apocalypse. You know, it's a, it's a, it's very far from his home. Wait, actually, didn't, isn't Gurugok a Hellboy skin? Isn't this his home? This is even more perfect. I gotta beat the Gawk in his own homeland. His own home- <gasps> I did. His own home world. Don't count the Gawk out yet. A comeback can be made here. I have to stop him in his tracks. What do I do after that sideline? I do not know. Okay, that's a hitbox for sure, and that's a video for sure. A little bit low energy this time, 69 experience points, so pretty perfect. I'll see you with 9 Defense Barraza.